Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to drop a database in real time. So sometimes you, we may get, uh, uh, generally we are going to restore some test databases or some, uh, if you want to take, uh, do some uh, issues and we copy and restore the, the same database with another name at the time once the work is done. So customer may ask you to drop that database. So you get this information via email or uh, asking for the ticket you uh, to drop the databases so whether it is single or multiple databases yeah, okay it all depends upon the customer so once you get the ticket so we need to identify that how is it still an active or how many sessions are there on the database is it select statements is it uh, multiple statements or insert or update any statements once you identify that and kept aside so if you are going to drop the database okay first you need to know uh, that database is is there any jobs or dependent on that um, database that you know once you identify that you can write an email informing to the customer that we have been observed there are multiple sessions running on uh, and totally we are so and so and so session on the database so in addition to about these databases are in use for below jobs once we drop the database we may get alert regarding job failures okay so kindly provide up to kill session disable the monitoring on dependent jobs so you have once you get the approval so you can go on kill the databases and act accordingly or otherwise if any instructions are in place so you can ask your colleagues and you can work accordingly okay now i will see that so now i'm going to see that uh, sessions so right now I, I don't have any sessions on test database okay if i open any one new query okay i'm click that see i am having one text uh, one connection on test database so now I want to drop the database called text. Okay, so I am seeing that I don't know any if I drop the database if I drop this test the jobs which are using this database may get failed unnecessarily if assume that there are 10, 10 uh, jobs are there and all are using this jet so you will get 10 alerts so it will be more noise in the production right so first you need to know so if you see here see there is a job name called te uh, text ttt in the it is using the uh, test database job is enabled if you go and see that come here test tt here steps edit so here we are having test so click that uh, close it so here uh, you can um, I mean to say so like that you can identify jobs or you can disable monitoring for that you know, from your monitoring tool and once you identify that section you need to kill that so if you execute this command so here you need to replace the database name okay so okay no problem test So now you can master click execute. Yeah, it was 55, 57, 16 is there. It was got killed. Okay. So now go back to this one and see any changes or any. See, there are no databases, uh, sessions exist on the uh, test database. Now you will. Uh, ask that you can set that force back uh, set offline database and before doing that before doing that we need to take the copy only backup okay so copy or select the full and click ok yes so for safety purpose we have taken uh, this copy only backup with compression by in the server level compression is already enabled so that is if you not you have to especially mention with the compression parameter for taking the backups now we are good to take the uh, offline once it is done select that uh, refresh here okay now you are good to reach uh, you are good to drop the database execute so this is how uh, we need to do uh, to drop a database uh, in real time so i hope you may like this video i'm going to give all the scripts in wattpad uh, so you can download this from google drive and uh, 
if you are if you have any other additional steps that i need to add please comment i will add in the description i hope you may like this video thank you